So in this video, we're going to talk about how to tell the difference between simple covalent molecules and giant molecular structures. Hi everyone, it's Jeremy from The Classroom and let's get started. Alright, so here you're given uh, you know, two different structures and uh, some of you might say that, you know, teacher, they, it, I, I know I memorized that one of them is diamond and the other one is like a simple molecular structure, but they actually look similar. So how do I tell them apart? Alright, so this here is diamond. Okay, and if you recall, diamond is basically carbon atoms joined together by strong covalent bonds. Now, what makes this giant and what, so this is your giant molecular structure and this is your simple molecular structure or simple covalent molecule. So they look kind of the same, right? they look almost the same size, just that one has slightly more atoms than the other. But the thing that makes this the giant is that if you look at the side atoms, so it's important to look at the side atoms, eh? okay? Recall carbon is 6, 12, 2.4. So carbon basically only has four valence electrons, and in order for it to become stable, it must gain four electrons. For it to gain four electrons, it must form four bonds. Once again, uh, carbon has four valence electrons. To become stable, it must gain four, and for that to happen, it must form four bonds. So if you look at the carbon in the, in the middle here, there is one, two, three, four. So this carbon here is fine. It, is, it has achieved a stable electronic configuration. Same thing here, this carbon here is 1, 2, 3, 4. So this carbon as well, both of them have your stable electronic configuration. Now, but if you look at the side atoms, so here, let's talk about the one on top here. This carbon atom only has one. So where are the other three? The other three are actually not shown. They're not shown in the picture. All right, all right. Same thing here, this side carbon here only has one bond. The other three are actually not shown in this picture. And so what we actually have here is a part of a much larger molecule. And that's why diamond, graphite, they have your giant molecular structures. And what you usually see is a very small part of the very, very big molecule. Now, on the other hand, let's talk about, say, this is, a, if I recall correctly, this is P4O6. So these are phosphorus atoms, P and P, P and P, and that's O, 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 O. So one molecule has four phosphorus, and 6 oxygen. So phosphorus is 1531 and that means that the electronic configuration is 2.8.5. Alright, okay? So what that also means is that phosphorus will only need to gain 3 electrons to become stable and it needs to form 3 bonds. So once again, with 5 valence electrons, it needs to gain 3 electrons, it will form 3 bonds. So if you look at the these here, 1, 2, 3. This one, two, three. The one behind, one, two, three. Basically, all the orange circles have three bonds, and therefore they are all stable. Likewise, oxygen is 8, 16, 2.6. There are six valence electrons. I'm going to change the red color, okay? So each oxygen must gain two electrons. It will form two bonds. So if you look at all the red ones, there are actually two lines sticking out of all of them. So what this means is that, what? what? That, there are no, that, that there are no extensions. There's nothing that's hidden. There's nothing that's not shown. And this molecule that you see here is it. This itself is one molecule of P4O6. And that's what makes it small and discrete, and therefore simple molecular structure. So I hope this short video has shown you how to tell the difference between a giant and simple molecules. See you next time.